Oh, wow. This looks pretty well done. Oh, hello. Oh boy. War. War never changes. Heard that before. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam just barely against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. Oh boy. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is... The game was rigged from the start. Ow! Alright. Sorry about those notification sounds. I, uh... I completely forgot I'm in a bunch of Discord, so hopefully that didn't ruin the experience for anybody. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why well, howdy. You relax a sec. Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? I am D back. That is who I am. <laughs> the 
can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Thank you. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework. But you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Ah! Look at that chin! I'm, I'm Caucasian. I like to think I'm Caucasian. Okay, you got presets. Oh my goodness! Well, this is the Wild West, kind of. So we're gonna rock the gunslinger. All right, that's that's the dude. That's our guy. Yes. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Well, I feel on my feet. Good. Oh, you're bald. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that bigger tester machine there? Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Okay. Sleep in a bed. Sit in the chair. Sleep in a bed, sit in the chair. Alright, hold on, I'm learning. That's a select. I don't know what this does. I don't know what that does. Alright, that's a jump. Oh, that's... Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's me, I guess. I guess I don't have a pit boy or anything. I'll take the medics and the blood pack. Thank you. What is this? What is going on here? What is this man doing? What is this? Broken some machine gun. Well, I guess I'll leave it alone. All right, let's go to this machine here. You're looking good so far. Thank you. Go all right. Give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Here we go. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, let's see what it is. Strength. Adjust your score. It ain't cheating. Strength will tell you how easily a cowboy totes a saddle. All right, let's get rid of all this stuff. And then we'll read through them all. All right, luck. Some folks claim not to believe in luck, but when they lose in a duel, you'll hear them say, that lucky son of a gun. This affects all skills, critical hits, and enemy mishaps. I'll go with spilled salt. Agility. When a fella is in a gunfight and shoots the other guy six times before they can get off one shot, it's because that fella is agile. This affects your guns, sneak, speed, action point, regeneration. Uh, let's go with under control. Alright. A smart cowboy is good at most anything. From sucking the poison out of your rattler bite to fixing your broken wacky blah, 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 wagon axle. This affects your science, repair, medicine, and skill points. Go for I'm a knucklehead. Charisma, this is what we want. Alright, barter, speech, companion, and nerve. You'll find there are some smooth talking cowboys out there that got themselves a voice that sounds like an angel's harmonica. Old hermit. Movie star. We'll do movie star. What we got left? Endurance, perception, and strength. Alright. Can't keep a good cowboy down off. He's the endurance type. And off he's got a six shooter the size of all tar nation. This affects your unarmed health, resistance, and survival. Go with Hardy. Perceptions. Explosives, lockpick, energy weapons, accuracy, compass, range. 
where we trout melee, unarmed, inventory, weight, damage, weapon, effectiveness. Circus Strongman. Alright. So we got eight for strength and eight for charisma. Six for endurance, five for perception, five for agility, and four intelligence and luck. I think that's fair. I think it looks good. Surprised anybody would want to tangle with you. Heck, you could go death claw hunting with a switch. Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn and drop it. Sit down on that couch and knock Mitchell's living room. Sit on the ruined couch. I need to get some clothes on. All right. Oh. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Dog. I was going to say cat. House. House. Renovate. Night. Night. Day. Oh, night. Dream. Bandit. Bandit. Stab. Light. Light. Dark. Mother. Father. Human shield. <laughs> what? Human shield. Mm. Sometimes when you give tests like this, you learn more than you was hoping for, and I reckon that ain't always the best thing. <laughs> But I guess maybe it explains a thing or two about your predicament. I use my mother as a human shield? Okay. <laughs> now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Strongly disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. No opinion. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Me personally, no. So I'm going to say disagree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. No, I, I, can, I can dig new I can dig new ideas. Charge in to deal with my problems head on. That's true. I do strongly agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Frog chain, chemical reaction, shadow on a door frame. An oozing with an angry two-headed ant. Uh, looks like a chemical reaction, sure. Okay. How about this? Looks one? like a pelt. Some piece of space ship at sea to immerse to see what it looks like. <laughs> uh, I say it looks like more like a pelt, but let's say a work of art. Last one. Two people high fiving. No, 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 no. Light and darkness. A bearded man. Yeah, sure. Look, I can see a bearded man. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Skills. Unarmed. The unarmed skill... Oh, wow. The unarmed skill is used for fighting. Without a weapon or with weapons designed to hand to hand, kind of like brass knuckles, power fists, and displacer gloves. Science, combined scientific knowledge, melee weapons. So I'm a melee weapon kind of guy, huh? Good at bartering. Not really good at anything else. It's good at speech. Speech and bartering are next. Alright, yeah, I can dig that. So you have two traits or none. Sure, that sounds interesting. And I like the more accurate one. I don't mind firing slower. I'll take accuracy. All right. All right. I guess that about does it. Uh. These are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults and made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. <laughs> Do 
Never was much my style anyway. Thanks, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Okay. Hardcore, whoa, ha, hardcore mode. As you play in a new hardcore mode, it greatly increases the challenge of the game. This mode, Stimpak Seal over time, cannot mend broken limbs. No, let's not start off with that. That sounds like a terrible idea. Achievement unlocked. Ain't that a kick in the head? Oh, we're supposed to go out this way. I'm, oh my goodness. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful place. It's really bright. All right. That's where we just came out of. Oh, this place looks awesome. So I'm playing with an Xbox controller. It's my first time ever using an Xbox controller. Never played Xbox before, so this is about to be really interesting. Who am I looking for? Just have to go to the saloon. That's what we're doing. Over 24 hours, huh? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. What up, Easy Pete? Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Uh. Why are you called Easy Pete? I was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Thank you, Easy Pete. That's a cool loading screen. Ah! Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay. Oh yeah, they're stealing and everything. What do we got here? Flashing area cover shows location of your objective. Karma! There's karma in this game. Guess we gotta be good in this game. There's karma. I didn't know that. Well, I'm glad I know that now. Yo, what up? Now. See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Shoot three sarsaparilla, sarsaparilla bottles outside the saloon. Oh goodness. That's the right idea. Look down the site. To aim, this increases your accuracy. Okay. Oh gosh. Start crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Uh, uh. Oh gosh. Next there we go. Sensitivity of this is going to be interesting. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I got to go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Why don't you come along? Sweet, I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Hi, Cheyenne. Following you. Oh. 
Can you sprint in this game? Shut up, Cheyenne. I'm trying to hunt geckos. Scenery actually isn't that bad for a game made in 2010. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. I'd rather not do that. No, no, no. There's the one there. Yeah. Send it. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's right. Give me that. Yo, where are you at, Sonny? I'm a gecko killer. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure, let's do it. it shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Better not be leading us into a death claw. I'll be real upset. Come on. Oh goodness. No. Give me that back. Come back here. All right, we're getting the hang of this. I guess it actually really behooves us to have a companion. It looks like they actually do a lot of damage in this game. The other fallouts, they just, like, get in your way, and it bothers me quite a bit. Good spring source. Oh, goodness. Oh! Gosh, those things are mean looking. I don't know if these are any good, but I'm taking all the gecko meat I can find. They just murdered a lady over there. Hey, where's my, where's my reward at? Ah, oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. I agree. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. 50 caps? Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? All right, then. Couldn't hurt. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Hey, Easy Pete told us not to go there. Cooking. All right, campfire on the trail. 
cleaver. Here, duct tape and a wrench, I'll take it. What am I doing over here? It's always good to drink some water. Alright, let's see where we're at here. Alright, well, let's do it. I guess you can't. I guess you can't sprint in Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas. Which scares me because that means I can't run away from anything. I'm loving this varmint rifle, though. Boom! Got that thing. Come on. Oh my gosh. Die. Alright, getting the hang of it, getting the hang of it. Xander root. Boom, Xander root. Got it. I got the Xander root. Alright, there's an old graveyard over here, apparently. No mail today. A bark scorpion? Why is that bark scorpion that big? Hey, you wanna go? Oh. Okay. Yeah, homie don't play that bark scorpion crap. I'm scarred from rad scorpions from Fallout 4, so. Because I don't have the best sneak in the world. Found that out just now. I hear lots of bugs up here. Bloat flies! Are they hostile to me? Floating targets. Oh ho! Got him. Is somebody digging in here right now? Another bloat fly. Oh, through the bush. That's how you do it, my dudes. All right, all right, all right. Bent tin cans, huh? Sunset Sarsaparilla. So it's growing right over here. Is this it? Yeah, Brock flower. Sweet. Got Brock flower and Xander root. Bring it to Sandy. Let's see what these bloatflies got. Bloatfly meat. I'll take it. Snow spring glow. Ooh. Where pre-war artifacts widely considered to be useless baubles, but rumor has that some collectors would pay dearly for them. I'll take it. Time to go coyote hunting. Oh my gosh, what a shot! This is like Cabela's Big Game Hunter! I just killed your friend. I missed you. Oh. Oh. How am I missing these right now? 
Boom. Coyote sneak attacks, baby. Rolling right now. Rolling with the shots. I'm getting it somewhat. I'm starting to think maybe PC might be easier than controller, but... It's whatever. Oh, it's just a puppy. Do I have to? Oh my gosh, there goes its head. Hey, bud. Oh my gosh, there goes its head. I love the 9 mil. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, you want some of this? Huh? I don't think you do. Handgun hero time. Well, I'm terrible. That's right. Your boy's a handgun hero. What are you doing? Any you eyeballing me? Yeah. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. Never gets old when something blows up. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. Five NCR dollars? Dynamite. Should I try it? I don't know. I'm not ready for that yet. I don't feel confident enough. I don't want the karma to go down, you know what I mean? I'm not just about to start murdering people. I'm too I'm too low for that. I'm only level one. I'm a scrub. Yo, what up? What up? What up? Oh my gosh, you guys just leave trash everywhere. Whiskey? You drink all this whiskey? Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. That's good. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Cool. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Alright guys, that's going to conclude our first episode of Fallout New Vegas. I'm really excited for this game. Uh, it seems pretty cool. I'll have to get used to mechanics a little bit and get used to using the new controls and everything like that. But I feel like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching this and I hope you guys stick around for the rest of the series. And yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys so much and hope you're ready for part two coming out in just a couple days. Thanks guys. Peace.